Sometimes people ask me, listen, I want to get better. And I was on the way of getting better. I started reading, I started learning, I started doing two, 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 two. Yom Kippur arrived, Rosh Hashanah arrived, I did all types of things, but, and I thought I was going in the right track. I was getting better and everything was going good and I started becoming modest and I started this and I started that and I started doing me twice. I started feeling like a little Ben Ishai. I started feeling like a little Baba Sali. I was all good. Everything happened. Everything was fantastic, Rabbi. But then all of a sudden, the holiday came out or Shabbat came out or something happened and boom! I exploded on my wife. I exploded on my husband, I exploded on my kids, I exploded on my boss, on my employee, started yelling at them. Things that I haven't said in years came out of my mouth, all types of vile words and language. I got so angry, I almost wanted to kill the person. I didn't even know why I was so angry. And I felt like everything I built went to the garbage. And I can't get myself back. I can't get myself back to be the little Ben Ishai that I thought I was. What do I do? How do I get back? It wasn't normal for me to act this way because I changed already. But apparently, not enough. So what do I do to get back? Sometimes the Satan waits for a person around the corner and lets him, lets her build themselves for a while without bothering them. So what do you want to do, Tshuva? Go, Kapa, go ahead. What do you want to do? You want to read? Go, go read. I'll give you the Chumash. I'll pay for it. All of a sudden, money shows up in your account. 40 bucks, art school chumash. Where did I get this money for? I didn't, I didn't have any money. Okay, so I'll buy it. I guess at the end, I'll buy it. Tick, 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 Amazon, artschool.com. All of a sudden, you got these books, this, that. You want to read. All of a sudden, you don't need to sleep at night anymore. All of a sudden, you could do all these mitzvot. You know what, Rabbi? You have a tzitzit? Tzit? Okay, I'll put a tzitzit on. Oh, tzitzit, tzit, this, that. All of a sudden, it's good. And Satan's looking, he's like, ah, it's cute. This kid's cute. Look at him. He's reading the Chumash. Look at this cutie. He's reading the Chumash. Look at that. He's coming to the shoe. He's watching the shoe. Two hours a day he watches the shoe. Rabbi, Rabbi. Yeah, 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 Rabbi. He's on the WhatsApp group. Look at that. Look at that. Look, Malachi Chabala. Look at this kid. Look at this. He brings all of his students. The Satan brings his students. He says, look at this kid. He's looking. He's Chumash, Shul Torah. He's a Baal Musa now, this guy. He tells everybody, listen, Mechalel Shabbat, like his rabbi. He's like, oh, yeah, he's like his rabbi. Look at this kid. He starts telling everybody, no, no, Mechalel Shabbat. Yesterday he was a rasha. But today he's Mechalel, you know, Mechalel Shabbat, Mot Yumat. Oh, look at this kid. Look at how cute he is. He brings all of the demons the kid created. Brings them all. He goes, no, ah, can we get him? No, 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 don't touch him. Satan says, don't touch him. Why not? Wait. Wait. Leave him alone. Don't touch him. But why? Oh, he, he used to be with us. Don't worry, he's still with us. He's still with us. Don't worry. Let him build. Let him build. Let him read the Chumash. Let him learn Musab. Let him do it. Let him think he is Baba Sali. Give him six months free. Give him a year free. Hashem Yishmo, give him five years free. Let him think he's good. Until he puts his guard down. And then... We take everything. And the Satan shows up with all of those unfixed, unfixed sins and attacks and makes the person act like a worse animal than he was before he did Shuvah. Waits from around the corner. Let's him build. Why? Because the Satan, when you're making sins, that's his parnasa. But it's like Parnasa, like collecting tzedakah. It's a dollar, it's ten dollars, it's a hundred dollars, it's fifty, it's a thousand. Yeah, it's tzedakah money. It's not like, uh, you're not getting rich off of it. But Satan wants something big. He's like, I want a building. How could I get a building? This guy's homeless all day. Okay, wait, see. Okay, wait, see. I'm tired of it already. No. Give me something else. Okay, so he's Mechalel. Okay, I've said, I've said. He's a little sick. He's used to your sins already. He says, I need something else. I need a building from this guy. How can I get a building from this guy? How can I get a building from this woman? Ah, let them build on Kedusha. Let them start learning. Let them start doing mitzvot. Let them start becoming a little tzaddik and tzaddikah. And then I'll take it all from them. Why? Because the Kedusha is worth billions more than the Tumah.
that a person creates. And that's the explanation for anyone who ever asked the question, how could it be that in history we've had a few people, not many, Baruch Hashem, a few people that were G'dolei Olam, G'dolei Olam, a Kohen Gadol for 80 years. A Kohen Gadol for 80 years went off the derech. The rabbi of Rabbi Meir Baranes, Elisha Acher, went off the derech. Many people always ask, how could it be? This guy knew a lot of Torah, how could it be? And there's other few others, Baruch Hashem, not many, but there's a few others, big, how? Because Rabbi Taya Karim, sometimes the Satan waits for people around the corner. Especially people that are, have a lot of potential. And he doesn't bother them. And he waits for them to put their guard down, to think that they're fine, to think that they're good, and then he goes for the whole bank. Because the amount of parnasah that he gets during that one day is enough to feed several lifetimes. And this is one of the most dangerous things that can happen to a person that does not put their guard up at all times. You are always at war with the Satan. Always. And I know a lady that from the day that I met her, she always says that's the one thing she's always scared of. She says, I'm going to build, 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 but one day I'm going to forget what I'm doing and uh, Satan's going to get me. I said, okay, if you keep building, you keep reminding yourself of this, you're going to be okay. Very scary. Why? Because you see sometimes, even in recent past, a few big rabbis that were doing a lot of really good things, one day start going crazy, start doing strange things. Start doing things that are against Allah, start doing things that are against the, uh, the Torah, start doing things that are against Hashem. And it's like, where did this come from? How? How could it be? This is one of those things. This is one of those weapons that the Satan doesn't use often, but nonetheless, when it uses it, it's very, very strange and very difficult to deal with for everyone around who doesn't know why it's happening. But this is also in the Torah. B'Shem Hashem Nasev and Atzliach, we're very excited to offer you the new Bezat Hashem app 3.0. It's a newer, faster app, full of Torah, lots of Kedusha, by uh, the Shurim that we do, myself, Rav Ephraim, Rav Chaim, uh, where you'll have uh, also newer features where you're able to use the app uh, while you're using other applications on your phone. You'll be able to share the, uh, the lectures directly from the app. You'll be able to donate online and support our Cube and our Torah work that we're doing. And the most exciting feature is that you'll be able to actually ask questions directly on the app and get answers from the rabbis directly from the app. This is something unprecedented, and Baruch Hashem will be able to offer it. Thank you again for all of your support. Check it out. Make sure you have the kosher Torah that uh, will re-energize your neshama each and every single day. Call to B'chavat